If you've been on After Reset today, you know there's a season finale, or if you've been on to YouTube, you might have seen the video that Bungie posted himself. And, you know, just to, for some context, let's just show off the trailer real quick. I don't care if it's half the video, I still want to show off the trailer, because the trailer is sick! Look at this! leaving the traveler is leaving the war sets I like that cutscene. I like that cutscene. Now we just have to wait 14 more days, boys. But now the traveler's higher in the sky. I wonder how the tower looks now in the skybox. <gasps> that is so odd. Yep, you heard it here first. The traveler's gone. Fuck that guy. This, the light is not with me, I can feel it already. Alright, but for some real context, the whole reason I made this video is because they're bringing, they're bringing Countdown back, huh? So, I did not care about anything about this video game, right? But if I go on to Bungie.net and they released an article called Lightfall and Be Ahead or whatever. So next season, fun fact, is called Season of Defiance and the season after will be called Season of the Deep. They're doing some shenanigans with weapon crafting, their ability tuning, and then they talk about some enemies, they enrich in the content, but here it is. In Season of Defiance, we're looking at getting Countdown back into the game along with a respawn variant of the game mode. We can call Countdown Rush. 
where players must detonate slash defuse both bombs on the map before the round ends. That's pretty cool. We also aim to run a series of crucible labs including a mode where the player's sandbox is dramatically changed, like weapon damage, ability uptime, and even ammo are all adjusted in an, in a new game mode called Checkmate Control. This mode will reward players who use their smarts and their skills, so if the only way enemy has been able to shut you down in the past is a solo blade barrage, they might be in trouble. This isn't all we have planned for in the modes, so keep your eyes up on Crucible Labs for some classic and all new modes later this year. Now that excites me. And yeah, they're bringing back three new maps over the year. They're bringing back... First, which is gonna be Meltdown, I can't fucking wait for that. Vex Network, a new one, so I hope that's good. And a map called, um... They're bringing back the Last Wish map, I don't fucking know how to pronounce it. Which will be the season before s the final shape. Which is a few seasons ahead, aka season 24. I... And also they said something about skill match- like matchmaking, cause... It felt bad. And then blah blah blah. They also said we want to continue to zoom out and make sure that we're upgrading the meta system to that encourages folks to play. Things like Iron Banner revamp, our a recent increase to Iron Banner reputation, our commitment to having three Iron Banner per season this year. Nice. That's more than two. While we haven't settled down on the final details, we are currently looking into rewarding and matchmaking structures for Trials of Osiris and would like to push more updates to that mode this year in order to more consistently keep the population at a healthier level. Finally, in competitive, we want to improve which the speed of which people of which players climb in the ranks. Most matches in the Crucible skill and endurance is clear why you won and lost. The specific numbers of rank points shows after the game. Okay. That is cool. Bungie, please make ranked play ranked play so you match people on your rank that's kind of the whole point so people get put in their basket instead of a gold player matching ascendant players over and over and is never able to climb that's the fucking life i have literally every time i play because of spmm and not ranked i only match ascendant players i mean i am adept one or whatever but i just don't care enough to play because it doesn't feel like ranked it feels like, yeah, OG comp, which was just, yeah, matchmaking based off your skill level. Or how well you did the game before. <laughs> they're, re they're refreshing strikes, adding exotic missions back, and that's basically what they said. So, I'm really excited for the next season. I can't wait. It's only 14 days, boys. So, if you can't wait and you're ready to be a baller, then yeah, we can't wait to grapple balls. Let's just say that. Everyone go on their Twitter and just say, can't wait to grapple balls, Bungie. It would be so funny. All right, goodbye.